Hi, it's Katrina. From pulling a sword from a lake to treasure found with a metal detector, here are 10 amazing unexpected finds. Number 10. Elizabethan Gold Ring Factory worker and metal detectorist Ben Bishop was searching a farmer's field in Glastonbury, England in 2018 when he found what he at first thought was a Coke can ring pull thingy. You know what I mean. Not very exciting. But surprise, surprise, the object turned out to be something much more valuable, an Elizabethan gold signet ring dating back to sometime between 1550 and 1650, so around 500 years old, with an estimated value of over $13,000. It's the first gold I've ever found, the stunned 30-year-old told the Daily Mail. I was so gobsmacked, I just sat down on the ground staring at it for about 40 minutes. I love that word, gobsmacked. I might use it more often. Bishop had been metal detecting for around seven years, but says he had never really found anything of value before. The rare, nearly half-century-old jewelry features a double-headed eagle and was identified as a man's signet ring. It weighs an impressive 17 grams. After being examined by the British Museum, it was returned to the young man who decided to sell the piece. No museums were interested in buying the ring, so it was scheduled to go to auction, with an agreement between Bishop and the property owner where he found it to split the proceeds. The ring's original owner remains unidentified, but was presumably someone wealthy and important. Number 9. Girl Discovers Iron Age Sword Saga Vanasek, an 8-year-old Swedish girl, was skipping rocks at Vidostern Lake during the summer 2018 when she unearthed an ancient 31-and-a-half-inch Iron Age sword. She literally pulled a sword out of a lake. Kind of magical, don't you think? After finding some kind of stick, Saga explained that she picked it up and was going to drop it back in the water, but it had a handle, and she saw that it was a little bit pointy at the end and all rusty. She handed the artifact over to her dad, who summoned archaeologist Annie Rosen to the scene the following day. The expert photographed the sword and immersed it in the water to avoid damage from being exposed to the air for the first time in more than a thousand years, according to a Facebook post by Saga's father, Andy Vanasek. Experts believe the pre-Viking weapon is between 1,000 and 1,500 years old, likely dating back to sometime during the 5th or 6th century. A subsequent search of the area by archaeologists yielded a brooch dating back to 300 AD. Saga was required to keep the discovery quiet for weeks as experts combed the area for more artifacts, fearing that if the story got out, people would flock to the site to conduct their own amateur investigations. Her fascinating find is now being preserved and will eventually be on display at the John Coping County Museum. And now for some more treasure, but first, it's shout out time! You asked, and here it is! Big shout out to Jess M and Rini Winata. Thanks for supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and join us. Number 8. Hidden Treasure Trove In 2015, a hobby antique collector named Emil Nodell purchased a seemingly ordinary chest at an estate sale in Missouri City, Texas for $100 after its marble top caught his eye. Because it has a nice marble top, I hope to use it in my dining room, the retired marketing director told ABC News. But the 67-year-old got far more than he bargained for, in a good way, when he discovered a secret compartment filled with valuables inside the chest. It was a treasure chest! Nadell first noticed something odd about it while he was moving it and heard objects moving around inside. As soon as we laid it down, it started making all this racket on the inside, explained Premier Estate Sales Network employee Jeff Allen, who helped Nodell move the chest. There were rings, diamonds, gold, and all kinds of stuff. Included among the contents were currency, precious gems including emeralds, military dog tags, a lock of hair, and Civil War memorabilia. For Allen and Nodell, there was only one thing to do return these precious belongings, which appear to have both monetary and sentimental value, to their rightful owner. They called the estate's executor, who happened to be the son of the man who owned the chest before he passed away, and turned the possessions over to him. Would you have done the same? Let me know in the comments below. Number 7. Shipwreck Champagne In 2010, a crew of divers exploring near Maryham, the capital of the Finnish Åland Islands archipelago, discovered a shipwreck. Inside, there were 168 bottles of champagne, dating back 170 years. Located about 160 feet beneath the water's surface, 79 of the bottles were still drinkable. While it's not that uncommon to discover booze that went down with sunken ships, it's rare to find it in pristine condition. 
In this case, the bottles owe their preservation to a combination of factors, including having landed horizontally and in a dark, high-pressure, low-temperature environment. A very lucky few had the chance to sample some of the champagne. Despite the fact that it was so amazingly old, there was a freshness to the wine, sommelier Ella Grussner said in an interview. It wasn't debilitated in any way, rather it had a clear acidity which reinforced the sweetness. The bottles quickly earned a reputation as the world's oldest drinkable champagne, and in 2012, 11 of them sold for over $180,000. Four of the bottles were identified as Veuve Clicquot, six came from Juglar, a manufacturer that went out of business in 1829, and one was Heidsike. I don't drink old, fancy champagne that often, so I'm not quite sure how to pronounce these. A bottle of Veuve Clicquot fetched the highest price, selling for around $19,000. Would you drink it? Let me know in the comments! Number 6. Buried Artillery in 2012, flooding brought on by Cyclone Nilam exposed five pieces of buried artillery on the northeastern shore of Sri Lanka. Soldiers discovered the weapons as part of a search operation following the storm. They had been concealed years earlier by the Tamil Tiger or the LTTE separatist group during the country's decades-long civil war. The items were found in a no-fire zone near the shipwreck of Farah 3, a Jordanian vessel that the Tigers captured in 2006 when it ran aground. The Sri Lankan military cited the discovery as evidence of the Tamil Tiger's involvement with illegal weapons, a lack of regard for civilian safety, and of the group's successful fundraising via donations collected from Tamil communities across the globe. At its peak, the LTTE was highly organized and well-trained, effectively inflicting numerous deadly attacks on the Sri Lankan government and civilians, as well as 8,000 of its own members who were suspected of being traitors to the group. The Sri Lankan civil war is an extremely complicated matter as evidenced by how long it lasted in the first place. Citing discrimination by the Sinhalese-dominated Sri Lankan government, the Tamil Tigers unsuccessfully fought to establish a separate enclave for themselves from 1983 to 2009, when the war finally ended with the LTTE admitting defeat. At the end of the bloody quarter-century-long conflict, it was evident that innocent civilians suffered the most, with hundreds of thousands of people being displaced, tens of thousands fleeing the country as refugees, and over 100,000 dying or disappearing. Number 5. America's Earliest Arrivals? When the first human inhabitants of the Americas arrived has long been a topic of debate among scholars. A paper published earlier this year in the journal Nature set that proposed date back further than ever before following the discovery of evidence of human habitation in a cave in Mexico as early as 30,000 years ago. This new date, which seeks to double the current estimate of when people first lived in the Americas, was proposed by archaeologists who had excavated at Chiquihuite Cave high in north-central Mexico's desert mountains. The team's original goal was to learn more about what the environment there was like in the past, but to their surprise, they unearthed thousands of artifacts that they believe are made by humans including limestone items that the researchers theorized were brought into the cave, since that particular type of limestone does not occur naturally there. National Geographic reported that included among the alleged objects are blades, projectile points, and flakes produced during the tool-making process. Bits of charcoal also appeared in the 10-foot layer of sediment that the team excavated. Radiocarbon dating puts the charcoal's age between 12,000 and 32,000 years old. Perhaps most telling is the presence of human DNA in the soil, although it remains to be determined whether ancient people left the traces behind or if they come from a modern source. No actual human remains were discovered at the site, meaning any signs of possible human habitation are minimal at best, warranting further investigation. Number 4. Notre Dame Clock Replica The catastrophic April 2018 fire of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris saw the destruction of the church's iconic six-and-a-half-foot clock, which was destroyed when the building's spire and roof crashed down. Thankfully, enough of the monument was spared from the blaze for restoration to be a realistic prospect. When it came to replacing the ruined clock, however, experts had little to go on besides photographs. No original drawings or digital records existed detailing its dimensions and features. Those working on the restoration caught a lucky break in June 2019, when French clockmaker Jean-Baptiste Viot discovered a nearly identical clock to the Notre Dame original while doing inventory just two and a half miles away at St. Trinité Church in northern Paris. It's like finding a second copy of a burned book, Viot gushed in an interview with CTV News. St. Trinité Church had used the clock until roughly a half century ago, when an electric version replaced it. 
VO found the replica behind a wooden board in a room filled with old furniture and statues. The clock is slightly different from the original, namely because it is less extravagant, so it cannot be installed in the original's place. It's also unknown whether a replacement clock will even be built due to the overall cost of reconstruction. But the discovery is a game changer for the rebuilding of Notre Dame because it gives experts the proper dimensions to work with in constructing a new clock, should they ever do so, eliminating the guesswork that would have come with relying on photographs. Number 3. Talayot Sword while preparing to publicly open an ancient megalithic site called Talayot del Serral de Cesabels on the Spanish island of Mallorca in 2019, archaeologists Jaume Deya and Pablo Galera uncovered a remarkably preserved 3,200-year-old Bronze Age sword. The artifact, which dates back to 1200 BC, appeared nearly 70 years after the site was first excavated in 1950 and after it was looted on numerous occasions since the Roman period. It was a huge surprise, Dea told CEN. We did not expect to find anything like this because the area had already been excavated. The sword is one of only 10 such artifacts ever found from the Talayotic culture, and it's one of few Bronze Age artifacts discovered at the site. It's also the first object of its particular type that was found by experienced experts, rather than handed over to them by civilians, enabling researchers to more accurately study the sword's origins. They believe that the sword was deliberately left at the site, perhaps as an offering, especially considering the suspected ceremonial use of the Talayot megaliths. It likely belonged to a noble or wealthy family, and archaeologists are currently analyzing the sword to hopefully learn more. Number 2. Modern Artifacts in an Ancient Dig While searching for ancient artifacts at the Rosh Hayain excavation site in Israel in 2017, archaeologists unexpectedly discovered artifacts from a World War I battle between the Ottomans and the British. Instead of finding items related to the nearby ancient biblical fortress of Antipatris, the discoveries included shrapnel, rifle cartridges, British military insignia, and two nearby Ottoman military outposts. As archaeologists, we expect to discover ancient finds from hundreds and thousands of years ago, whereas here, we have a relatively young, 100-year-old artifact. But we were all drawn to the fascinating story of the battle, said excavation director Yossi Elish of the Israel Antiquities Authority. The accidental discoveries were made during standard excavations in anticipation of a road that was going to be built in the area. While they aren't exactly what the archaeologists were looking for, the artifacts are valuable in helping to reconstruct the skirmish that took place at the site on September 19, 1918, as part of the larger Battle of Megiddo. Evidence shows that the British military attacked Turkish forces with 18-pounder guns, and that their opponents returned fire with light firearms. It seems that the Turkish forces sustained serious casualties from this barrage, Antiquities Authority weapons expert Alexander Glick told the Jerusalem Post. It is interesting to note that the rifles and cartridges were manufactured in Germany and were supplied shortly before the battle, evidence that the Turks were dependent upon their German allies for weapons and ammunition. Number 1. Ring of Mistaken Origins when a trio of archaeologists discovered a ring in Grzbovo, Poland in 2003, they initially assumed it was a Viking artifact based on its design featuring animals and a dense weave pattern. Upon closer examination, experts determined that the ring, which dates back to the 9th or 10th century, more closely resembles artifacts relating to the Carolingians of Western Europe, not Scandinavia as previously thought. This led to another realization speculating that the ring may have been manufactured in the Eastern Alps, which was an established Christian stronghold by the 8th century, the researchers knew that the artifact was more likely to be Christian rather than pagan. The image depicted on the ring, which consists of floral designs, birds, and an animal lying down, is thought to be a scene featuring Agnes Dei, or the Lamb of God. Crafted from lead brass, a valued material at the time, the ring likely belonged to a high-status individual. Rather than being perfectly round, it was shaped in a way that would have made it difficult for the ring to slip off its owner's finger by accident. The wearer had to twist the form-fitting ring at a 45-degree angle to either put it on or take it off. Experts have yet to determine how the artifact ended up so far from where it's thought to have been made. Theories include that it may have been looted, given as a gift, or worn by someone as proof of their membership in the Christian community. Thanks for watching! Which discovery was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up for more and don't forget to subscribe! See you soon!